Connect the pump leash to the leash connection loop located around the center of the kite. This will secure the kite to the pump and prevent the kite from blowing away while inflating. Screw the inflation valve on. Connect the pump hose to the valve. Begin pumping. If the kite was packed properly, it should unfold by itself as you're pumping. Sometimes a bridle may be wrapped around the kite preventing it from unfolding properly. If you see this, stop pumping and clear the bridle. The kite will start to get more difficult to pump when you're close to the proper air pressure. Once the kite is inflated, remove the hose and cover the valve. Detach the pump leash while still holding onto the kite. You can do a visual check by trying to bend the leading edge inward towards the center of the kite. If the leading edge feels firm and is giving you resistance, you have enough air in the kite. Sprint clamps. You can choose to close these or not. They're located on each strut and you simply squeeze them to close. By closing them, this will block the airflow from the leading edge to the struts. If the leading edge of the kite deflates while kiting for some reason, the struts will remain inflated providing a flotation in case you need to perform a self rescue. While handling the kite, always hold it by the leading edge facing into the wind. The kite will float easily in this position. You can hold onto the kite anywhere on the leading edge, but never grab the kite by the back or what we call the trailing edge. To put the kite down in a resting position, move towards one of the wingtips and rotate the kite on its axis. Place the kite with the leading edge facing down. The center of the kite should be facing directly into the wind. To add a bit more security, throw a sandbag on top of it, or if you don't have a sandbag, use your board with the fins facing upward. The kite is all set now, we just need to run the lines. Make sure the center bridles are not tangled and are laid out nicely. Notice that the kite bridles where we connect the lines to the kite are color coded. We have the two center bridles which are white and the two outside bridles which on this kite are black and yellow. The ends of the lines are also color coded. The ends of the line should match and connect to the corresponding color of the bridles. Place all four lines near the kite and begin to unravel all four lines together off the bar as you walk downwind from the kite. Make sure you have the bar facing the correct position. Place the bar down onto the ground. Let's begin to separate the lines now. Step in between the outside and center lines. Pick up the steering lines, one in each hand as well as the center lines. With the lines between your fingers, walk towards the kite upwind. As you walk towards the kite with the lines in your hands, the lines will separate. Once you get to the kite, drop each line by the bridle you will be connecting it to. The color should match. I always double check the outside lines by lifting the line up by the end and looking downwind towards the bar. There should be no lines wrapped or twisted around it. Connecting the lines. To connect the steering lines to the kite we will start with the loop. Take the base of the line and feed it through the loop. This creates a self-tightening knot known as a lark's head knot. Now pass the loop over the second knot and close the loop just above it. The middle knot placement feels just right. By using the other notch, you can get a little more power out of the kite by connecting the line furthest away from the kite. Or if you want a little less power out of the kite, you can use the top knot closest to the kite Give it a pull to tighten it. As you pull harder, the tighter the knot becomes. For the center lines, the loop is located on the bridle while there is only one knot located at the end of the line. Certain kite brands do this so you don't accidentally connect the center line to the outside bridle. Connect the rest of the lines.
The kite setup is now complete. So we practice setting up the kite by running the lines downwind. It's the easiest way to run your lines in my opinion because you can visually see everything. However, this isn't the only way to run your lines. You can run the lines upwind from the kite or either side. The way you run your lines will depend on the spot you're kiting at. Sometimes you may not have the room to run the lines downwind, so it's good to feel comfortable running them from different directions. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to catch the latest kiteboard instructional videos. Thanks for watching and happy kiting!